So the reason that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reacting to Gary Orofsky's speech is because Gary Orofsky is a major influence in my animal rights activism and amazing, amazing major influence in the animal rights movement across the world and in the mainstream vegan movement. Gary broke into the mainstream quite heavily and he is, in my opinion and in objective reality, one of the most amazing animal rights advocators who has ever, ever existed. I'm a misanthrope, not a racist. I hate all human beings. All humans are a psychotic scourge to this planet. Whites, blacks, men, women, heterosexuals, homosexuals, Republicans, Democrats. Shit, I even hate vegans. But I remain a vegan activist because vegans cause the least amount of harm to the animals and the entire planet. Fuck human rights. The first thing a misanthropic vegan will do when faced with the very real torture, death, and destruction caused by mainstream crop-based agriculture is maliciously blame it on the animals. When that lie inevitably falls on its face, the vegan will invoke the idea that they plan to replace destructive mainstream crop-based agriculture with a mythological farming method they call vertical farming. So today we're going to expose how absolutely absurd the idea of vertical farming really is. Here on planet Earth, we have 2.3 billion acres of harvested acreage that would have to be replaced with so-called vertical farming. So let's do the math on this. Since the infantilized vegans refuse to. Let's make the vegans vertical building a 100 meter by 100 meter structure. Then let's make each vertical structure 100 stories high. So using those dimensions to replace 2.3 billion acres of destructive crop based agriculture, the vegans will require 931 million 174,000 and 89 floors. Divide that by 100 floors and the vegans mythological vertical farming will require the construction of 9,311,741 100 meter by 100 meter skyscrapers. To put this into perspective, Hong Kong, the global skyscraper world record holder, has only 517 skyscrapers, but their average height is only about 40 floors. So in order to shift to vertical farming, we would need an ocean of skyscrapers, consisting of skyscrapers over twice as tall as the average of those of Hong Kong and extending out to cover more than 18,000 times more area than does the entire footprint of those skyscrapers in Hong Kong. So first, these 9 million plus skyscrapers need to be built. Then they will require plumbing and energy hungry water pumps to deliver the required water against gravity up all those floors of all those millions of skyscrapers. Then of course all 9 million 311,741 of these skyscrapers will have to be heavily wired for electricity since natural sunlight will have to be replaced with grow lights on all 931,174,089 floors. And because artificial light produces so much heat, these 9,000,000 000- 311,741 skyscrapers will have to be equipped with energy-hungry air conditioning systems in order to prevent the plants growing within from being baked to death. Obviously, if the vegans ever did the maths, they would realize that vertical farming is potentially the most stupid idea ever. Of course, if vegans were serious about reducing the torture, death, and destruction caused by the industrial crop-based agriculture that brings the vegan menu to the market, they would have already done this math and figured out that vertical farming is dead on arrival. But vegans don't really care about animals. They simply have a, a weird obsession 
with controlling and even harming other people. Veganism is death on a plate, and there's no amount of childish vegan mental gymnastics that will ever change that. And that's not, on and that's not supply, even yeah. taking into account um, better farming practices. Vertical yeah. farming, for example, right, right. basically no pesticides. Can, right. Well, besides the actual building of the building, it could kill next to no insects. Mm 